Hi guys, I hope you're doing fine. We have another beautiful day. It's really sunny, it's no wind again, it's super nice. And uh, I want to make, a, we want to make a, a sequel to the last video because in the last video we were flying super mellow, not so fast, very low, super low and super tight because the, the Avanti is very light, so uh, it's easy to fly like that. But now I would like to show you how fast the Avanti will go with a single 6S Leon battery. So the battery weighs only 450 grams, which is super nice. The plane is also very light, but, and it delivers, uh, as in the last flight, 55 amps and 1.2 kilowatts at takeoff. But I want to show you that it will still fly very, very fast, even though this uh, little power. And I must tell you that this uh, 1.2 kilowatts is less than the stock Avanti because stock Avanti has uh, 1.7 kilowatts, I think. So it's less than stock Avanti, but you will be surprised how fast it goes. And this is because of my efficiency tuning of the, of the wings and of the stabs. I, as I said before in the last videos, I covered all the gaps, so they're uh, very tight and the, the whole airframe is more streamlined, it's more aerodynamic, so there is less turbulent flow and I got rid of all the flat surfaces behind, uh, which create a lot of drag, especially on the horizontal stabilizer. Now the, the trailing edge of the horizontal stabilizer and the, and the rudder is sharp which gave me another 20 kilometers per hour, which is nice. And I strongly recommend to every one of you to do it because theory says that when you fly knife edge, the bl very blunt edge of the trailing edge of the, of the rudder is giving you more authority, more control when you're flying knife edge. I don't feel it. I don't feel the difference. Uh, I'm not an expert in knife edge, but I really like sharp edges on the trailing edges and uh, one of my favorite planes, even I didn't fly it, but I, I really like it and I once, once one day I will fly it. The, the Rebel Hot has sharp edges everywhere and it flies great and it's a great uh, acrobatic plane and it also, it's also very fast and very efficient. So I did it. I did all these this gadgets to my wings also. So, I think it's enough talking, let's fly. So we climb immediately to, to go to 300 meters altitude, as I do always, the speed runs. Nice moon, another jet in the air. 1,012 watts. Let's see the altitude. 143 meters. 157 meters. 190 meters. 285 meters. Oh. Check the top speed. 236 kilometers per hour. 236. This is nice.
and gear down flaps full 107 kilometers per hour 84 kilometers per hour 67 kilometers per hour 41 kilometers per hour So quickly flight data, it was exciting flight. Uh, we, I start with the top speed, of course, we climbed to 326 meters. So it's my av average for, for uh, uh, getting some speed for descent. And the top speed was 236 kilometers per hour, which is great. I think uh, level flight on full battery would be around 200 kilometers per hour. Uh, we were flying again full throttle all the time. And the flight time was exactly four and a half minutes. It's really satisfying. Full throttle, four and a half minutes. And now the power draw. At takeoff, we had 55 amps, 1.2 kilowatts. Uh, we used 3.1 uh, ampere hour of the battery, which is four and a half. So we still had 1.4, 1,400 left in the battery as a reserve. And I decided I'm not going to use it to preserve the battery. So if we want to fly the battery down to 4,000 mAh with 500 less left uh, as a reserve, as I did some previous years, then we would have full throttle, I think, five and a half minutes, maybe up to, yeah, five and a half minutes. Very nice, very satisfying. Okay, so as you could see, flying uh, Avanti, freewing Avanti on very low power with very low weight is a lot of fun because it can go fast, but it also can turn very hard and it's super easy to land. It's a nice jet, it's really nice jet. Actually, I was uh, thinking that it would be so nice to, to make a mold out of it and to laminate it in fiberglass, super light, but shiny, smooth. It would be a nice project, but maybe sometime in the future. I love this plane, it's just so beautiful and it fits to my car, uh, so it's very, comfortable and convenient to fly it and uh, the one drawback only is that the foam is, is getting you know scratched and dent and it's easy to get a dent in the foam but but still it's worth it it's inexpensive plane and it flies great so i love it okay i hope you enjoyed the flight i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed it a lot and i hope to see you next time